Hello, welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change your ICC profile settings or how to load your ICC profile. It's on a Windows PC and the software we're using today is Lightroom Classic. So this one, it's really quite straightforward to do on Lightroom. It's one of the easiest settings to change of all. So what I've done is I've opened up Lightroom here and I've got a photo loaded loaded onto it and I'm going to click on print now when you clicked on print you need to scroll down to the bottom down in this area here and what you're looking for at the moment the profile is managed by the printer so what you need to do is you need to change that to managed by other and then what you're going to do is here are all the ICC profiles that are currently installed you need to select the ICC profile that's relevant for the ink and paper combination and you're just going to click on this one here so for me example if that was the one that i wanted i just tick that and then i click on okay so in the same drop down box you're going to can click your printer so we've changed it here uh, but you need to tell the printer not to use the current ICC profile that's selected so basically we're just dis disabling the color management of the printer so the software will handle it but you need to tell the printer as well so one last thing I missed is here you need to check that for best results for sublimation printing we recommend perceptual so I'm going to go into the printer now and call up the relevant printer so for me it's this one here into the properties now this is where I can tell it not to use the current settings that it's got. So I know I've been told in my instructions I need plain paper, high quality, that's my setting. Now yours might not be the same, it will be in the instructions, especially if it's one of ours. ACC profiles are built around paper and ink combination, so it's quite crucial that these settings do match the way the, the, the ICC profile was built. If they're not, the colours won't be the same so for this one on an Epson, we're going to click on more options here onto custom, click advanced, and then we're just going to say no color management here. And that one we know we need to untick for me and mirror image. So I want it to print in reverse. So basically I'm, I'm using sublimation ink. One thing I probably should have saved, I probably should have saved that as a preset. So next time I come in, I can just, I don't have to change all of these settings again. So I'm just going to put add remove A4 sub and I'm just going to save that one as uh, A4 sub. So let's just have a look. A4 sub, A4 sub and then click save. Now you can see it here in the drop down menu and if I click close, next time I come in, all I have to do is just select this bottom one down here and press OK and that's it so the settings are changed and it's already gone to the printer I don't have the printer online at the moment which is why it said it's it's not ready uh, so you can just ignore that uh, and that's it it's really quite straightforward to do on Lightroom and uh, thanks for watching